Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you what a 2015 Chrysler 200 looks like at night because it really stands out to me. You've got this side marker here, which is like an LED light. And then you've got these long LED strips here. I don't have the headlights on yet, but those are kind of like the parking lights, I guess you can say. Which is really cool going down the road. And let's just kind of see what the back looks like. A nice glow. Glowing taillights there. With your illuminated license plate. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up the trunk and see what's in here. Yeah, nice and nice and bright light. It does have one light there. It's kind of like a dome light, I guess you can say. And so let me go ahead and turn the headlights on and everything. Go ahead and turn the fog, light, fog lights and everything on. So you can see what we're dealing with here in the front with the projector headlights and fog lights. pretty neat so let's take a look on the inside we saw what the trunk looks like here's the back seat now it's not super dark where I'm at they've got all these lights everywhere but I'm gonna try to represent the vehicle as best as possible do have a nice dome light there which illuminates the entire back seat including most of the floorboard there now Here's the interior, the front. Now you've got some illuminated buttons here in the door. I don't see any illumination here in the rest of the door. These are illuminated. Floorboard's very illuminated. Right now with the door open. So let me go ahead and hop in. Put the seat back. And let me shut the door. So everything's kind of, the dome lights are fading out and we're left with the awesome blue illuminated gauges. That's really, really amazing looking. This screen, this kind of has a small screen. It's not very impressive. So, I mean, there it is. But right here, look at that. It's almost like digital or something. Like but uh, just the illumination is really cool. I mean, this center part is digital, but I'm just gonna scroll through, see what it looks like. I mean, I've seen it during the day, but and it looks neat during the day, but at night it just kind of really pops out. But there's that. Now the steering wheel, if Scott has illuminated buttons here on the steering wheel on both sides, and then you've got some illumination like I was showing you before on the sides. Now I'm not really seeing any illumination here in the floorboards. Some of them have, some cars have like a real small amount of illumination in the floorboards, but they're just completely black down there. But of course the start button is illuminated right here looks pretty cool you've got your shifter your parking brake which is illuminated all these buttons are all illuminated cup holders no illumination there now let's open up this little slide thing okay we've got some the USB and auxiliary inputs as well as a power supply which are illuminated but uh, that little pocket a little bridge pocket that's under there not really any illumination. Let me let me turn the lights on so you can see what I'm talking about. Actually, um, I just found out something. There's a dim there's two dimmers. One 
is for the regular lights the other one is for the ambient light so I just pulled it up and there is some ambient light down here for this little storage area which I'm happy to see because I was kind of concerned about that and um, let me look at the cup holders still nothing in the cup holders and also it looks like we've got a little bit of a light here in the door well can't see it with the door open but this door pocket when I turned up the dimmer switch um, it illuminated that as well this there in the door and let's see here if I see anything in the floorboard still not really seeing anything in the floorboard as far as lights but I'm glad to see that that little pass-through pocket has some lights there now the center console let's lift it up yeah it's got a really nice bright light in there got some lights here these are backlit got a little light nothing for your sunglasses now garage door controls are lit up there's some bright lights there same thing on the other visor but um, yeah I'm glad I turned that up because I, I was kind of concerned about that light down there but because it really I mean it's kind of a unique feature to have that pass through section down there and for me it's a little bit awkward to reach down there I'm not really maybe some people it's you know it's a nice little spot but if there was no light there that would really kind of diminish its value for me now this opens up and you can see the little pass through place for the cords and you can see the little light through there but anyway I guess the most impressive thing about the lights in this car is the backlighting here the color coding and all that but this um, these gauges I mean that blue glow is just really mesmerizing I mean I like that but anyways um, there you have it that's what it looks like in the vehicle inside and out and um, one thing I forgot turn signals you should have reminded me so let's go ahead and put the turn signals on see there there's the front let's, and then we've got the side marker here on the rear view mirror side mirror there we go all right if you have any questions let me know if i skipped over anything or got something wrong let me know in the comments and i'll see you next time